first caught wind of the season possibly possibly being reinstated when uh, you guys first talked about it as a team or when Mel addressed you or whatever and kind of what your uh, initial reaction was to uh, football being back on this fall? Yeah, so there are kind of rumors going around throughout, um, you know, ever since we got canceled, there's been rumors going around that we might start back up in, you know, October, November, whatever. Um, but I really got real when coach had a team meeting a couple days, I can't remember exactly before we actually got reinstated. He just talked about how it's a very likely possibility and um, just to make sure that we're locked in, ready to go. And then, you know, when we heard news about it, um, everybody was pretty excited. You know, you can you could tell today by the energy at practice that, you know, people are excited to play and uh, we're ready to get out there. Next question is uh, Casey Campbell. Thanks, Ben. Hey, hey, Rocky, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I, I just wanted to ask you, wanted to ask you about how you, how are you mentally preparing for this season? Because in the beginning, we really didn't know if there was going to be a season. Now there is. What's that? What has, what has your, how have you kept your head sane throughout this whole process? Yeah. So it's been a little weird, obviously. Um, you know, this has been one of the weirdest times in my life, uh, especially with football being such a big part of it. But uh, it, it really is no different for me. You know, my attitude when the season got canceled was that we're going to play eventually. So at one point or another, I got to be ready to, ready to go. So whether that's in November or whether that's in the spring or whether that was even until next fall. Um, so I, I just kind of look at it as I got a little bit more prep time than anybody else. I got that extra month. So, <laughs> you know, all you can do is, is look forward. You, know, you can't look back. So uh, when they reinstated the season, I was, I was ready to go because I've been studying for this last month. All right. Thanks, Rocky. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Casey. Next question is from Matt Charbonneau, the Detroit News. Hey, Rocky. Appreciate the time. I, you said you've been studying for this for the last month, and and really, if you think about it, you've been you've been kind of working towards this for the last couple of years at least. Um, you know, so you have you have you miss spring. You have the delays like this. I guess what are your can you can you put into words? what your thought process is when you're out on the field now and kind of that this is my time sort of a, approach to this thing and, and and how do you feel when you pe hear people say oh there's a, there's a quarterback battle at Michigan State do you feel like uh, I'm, I'm the quarterback and I'm going to prove to people that this is my job yeah so uh, I, I've always felt like I, I've been the quarterback here you know I've always felt like I've been good enough to play at this level and, and I still feel like that obviously so you know, when I hear that stuff, it, it doesn't really affect me. You know, there's nothing I can do about that. I, I just can't even think about it. So it's kind of on the back burner, so to speak. And uh, it's not something that I really think about. But uh, I'm sorry, what was the first part of your question? I mean, just kind of how you, you said you've been preparing for a month. But really, oh, yeah. this has been a hot, like, lot longer process. Yeah, uh, yeah. Not yeah. really for you. Yeah, so I mean, obviously, I've been preparing for this for a long time. And I even got some playing time in the last couple of years. But uh it's, it, it's, it's finally starting to come together, you know, where I feel like I got a chance to go out there and play and I feel like I got a chance to prove myself. And, um, you know, you talked about thinking, I, I think that's what you said is how, what are you thinking out there when you're playing? And for me now it's, it's more about doing, um, I'm, I've gotten to the point where I don't really have to think as much out there. You know, I can go through, I got a couple things in my head and then, you know, boom, I'm just playing, you know, you just got to go out there and ball. It's, it's, it's really not about uh, overthinking things or anything like that. Next question is from Audrey Dahlgren of WLNS. Rocky, thank you. Um, I have a question in regards to your offense as a whole. What do you think that you guys need to work on the most to be prepared for that week one opener on the 24th against Rutgers? Yeah, well, I think, first of all, that this offense is really talented. I think it's the most talented offense we've had, and at least since I've been here. Um, we got our O line has come together. You know, our line's been the same O line for the last three years. Now we're finally old. And, you know, we got everybody going. We're big, strong. We know what we're doing. Um, so I'm really excited to see what this offense can do. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's just getting experience. It's, uh, you know, getting reps, building that chemistry with your teammates, you know, on back shoulder throws, whatever, doing double teams on the offensive line. So it's all just about how well can you work together and how well can you execute game plan. So it just comes down to reps. So do you mind if I have a follow-up real quick with that then? So going off of that, so when you look at, obviously, your offensive line, so then how much more confidence does that give you? I mean, you've worked with some of them before, but how much more confidence does that give you 
you know, going into week one in this shortened condensed season, maybe. Yeah, it gives me a lot of confidence and, and I can see the confidence growing in them too, which, which is awesome because, you know, they, they deserve to have that confidence. We've had a good old line. We've had some injury problems, obviously, but um, we've had those players here and we've had good old lines and good games at old line and, for them to finally have that confidence and be excited to go out there and play and work together as one unit, it, it uh, you know, lifts me up and it gets me excited to go. Thank you. Next question is from Stephen Brooks with 24-7 Sports. Hey, Rocky. Um, what uh, can you tell us about today and, and what that was like, uh, what you guys were able to do, what you felt was productive and everything, and, and also looking forward. Um, obviously, the preparation is uh, for all this is just unusual it's not it's not the same at all um what do you guys know at this point about uh what the next couple of weeks will look like as you obviously get into game mode and everything will it look just sort of like a august camp or is there you know some twists or something built into that just given the circumstances yeah so we can't really do a fall camp because of um school uh, you know obviously we don't we didn't have uh, school in august when fall camp normally was so we can have those endless hours but you know, now guys got classes and tests and exams, and it's just you can't practice as much as you as you would in August. So it's more of like um, it's more of like a regular season type of vibe where you know you get the twenty hour work week and you you lift in the morning and you go to practice in the afternoon and stuff like that. But it's definitely not it's definitely not fall camp. It's it's much uh, much shorter than that. But practice today to answer the first part of your question was was awesome. Really high energy. Um, it was supposed to be a little bit of a light practice, but there was a high tempo. Um, Coach Tuck's not messing around now, man. He's uh, he's getting us ready to go. He's motivated. We're motivated. So it, it was a good practice. Everybody's flying around. Uh, you know, really excited to see what we got for the next for this next week. Thank you. Next question is from Lindsey Huddleston. Thank you, Ben. Uh, hello, Rocky. I pose this question to both Athletic Director Bill Beekman and to uh, your coach Mel Tucker about the social justice impact of what's going on. What is your experience like as a player and as a leader on the team? What has it been like from a social justice standpoint with everything that's happening in the world right now? Yeah, I think I think it's been good for us to, to grow together a little bit on this issue. Um, it's been talked about a lot. We've had a lot of team meetings over it. So just to open people's eyes up a little bit and and really understand what's going on and understand what we can do, um, you know, to help this issue and to, to make better, to make it better and make the world more equal and all that. But it's been good to kind of, I feel like it's brought the team closer together because it's just, it's kind of, it's messed up, man. You know, some, some things that are going on right now is, is it's just not right. And especially for me as a leader, I feel like I've, I've been trying to, you know, get these guys to, figure out how to make change and, and, and find a way to make change. So Coach Tuck's done a really good job with us about that. Um, and our and our teammates as well have, have really stepped up and spoke about that a lot. Oh, wow. Thank you. Next question is from Matt Wenzel with M Live. Hey, Rocky, uh, when, when practice was initially uh, halted and, and Mel said you guys were going back into the weight room, you got, what, five weeks or whatever that was, I guess, what were the gains you, you thought you made as a, as, a, as a team making that shift and really focusing back in on strength and conditioning? Yeah, it, that, was a, that was a good little time for us because, you know, you don't get it, we didn't get as much uh, lifting and conditioning in over quarantine because, you know, everybody's at home, we didn't have the facilities, you know, there's a million excuses, whatever. But to, to get those five weeks was really important. I feel like we made a lot of strides. Coach Novak's awesome, by the way. He's unbelievable and does a great job. And we're making huge strides in the weight room and on, and on the field with speed and agility stuff. But he's done a lot of good stuff with, you know, jumping and explosion um, aside from strength that I, I feel like it's really helped us. You can see guys making better cuts, and getting faster, our running forms getting better. Um, and, you know, it, it doesn't sound like much, but it can make a, a really big difference. Thank you. Next question is from Matt, Matt Charbonneau, the Detroit News. Rocky, I want to ask when when the schedule came out the other day if if any if you paid attention to that if any of that jumped out to you maybe Michigan in week two or something like that or are you just in the position of I don't care what the heck it is at this point I just want to play games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on that. Yeah, I mean that's that's kind of how I felt. It's just man, I'm just excited to play. You know, I it, I knew we were going to play, you know, a full Big Ten schedule or whatever and. You know, you got eight games and playing the whole East and two in the West. But the, 
who was on the schedule didn't really matter. You know, we knew who was going to be on the schedule for the most part. The two West games were a toss up, but we know who we're going to play and we, we know what we're going to do. So. Thanks. Next question is from Jason Lewis. Hey Rocky, thanks for joining us today. Um, you know, you mentioned the strength and conditioning aspect of what you got out of that five weeks, but you know, talking to coach, um, just the fact that you got five weeks to still get to know this coaching staff, learn the offense more. I mean, how much beneficial was that side of it too? Not just what you guys did in the weight room. Yeah, it was huge. And, and not only in the last five weeks, but over quarantine, um, not getting a spring ball hurt us in the sense of we lost some chemistry and we lost some, um, uh, not, not even, I don't want to say we lost chemistry, but, you know, we didn't get the opportunity to, to make that, to build that chemistry and to get the on-field experience. But with all the Zoom meetings we had and all the plays we were able to install and the offense we were able to learn, um, it, was, it was really impressive, honestly, to see, to see the guys, you know, really locking in. And, and we got a lot of stuff done, not only just these last five weeks, but over quarantine about putting in the offensive playbook and understanding what we're trying to do. Thanks, Rocky. Next question is from Stephen Brooks. Hey, Rocky, uh, just sort of curious, like today, um, obviously the whole last few months have been weird with, with uh, your season and everything. Uh, was today sort of the, the most real it felt? Like, I feel like for sure we're going through with this because earlier, you know, you did have the um, schedule released the first time and things ended pretty quickly there. And over summer, I don't think really anybody knew. Was today a different sense of like, finally we're moving forward or is it just kind of, maybe you've had that before. I don't know. Just kind of, could you, could you speak to that a little bit? Yeah, no, uh, you're actually right. Today, today was the day, you know, you could feel it in the air when you walked onto the practice field. It, it was a different, it was a different sort of vibe. Even when they told us we were going to play last week, you know, we had two workouts, maybe or three, I can't even remember, but it, it still didn't even feel real, you know, but when we showed up today for practice, you could tell the, the energy of the coaches, the energy of the players, uh, it was different. So uh, I think we're finally getting to the point where, you know, this is real. We're going to play ball. So we got to get ready to go. Thank you. Give time for one more before Anton joins us. Uh, Colton Pouncey with The Athletic. Hey, Rocky. Uh, I was just curious. I know you didn't have a spring and fall camp's kind of cut short, but in what ways do you feel like you've grown as a quarterback this past year? Yeah, um, I feel like I've grown a lot with – with experience and not only, and like you said, we didn't have a fall or a spring. So it's not really so much on field experience, but um, to learn that playbook, like I was talking about earlier over quarantine and, and to really study that film, I feel like I've, I've gotten a lot more comfortable with who I am as a player and, and learning to use my strengths to my advantage. So, and then aside from that, you know, I, I got a lot of good throwing work in. I feel like this is the best I've ever thrown the football. I feel comfortable in the pocket. My feet are quiet. Um, I, I feel really good right now. So it, it's been it's been a long it's been a long time to finally get on the field, but uh, I've never felt better. Sounds great, Rocky. I really appreciate you uh, taking the time after practice to join us today. We have Antoine Simmons here shortly, so thank you for joining us, Rocky. Thank you, guys. Room. Thank you. We'll get Antoine uh, set up here. In just a minute. And that question was for Antoine, not Rocky. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Antoine, how are you doing? Are you, uh, are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. How are you guys okay. going? Good, how are you? Sounds good. Well, once again, I appreciate Antoine, you uh, joining us tonight. We just got out of practice, trying to get some food, trying to get back to your place and everything. So thanks for taking some time. Uh, we'll start with Casey Campbell and we'll get it going from there. Casey. Thanks, Ben. Uh, hey, Antoine, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm happy to be uh, I'm happy we were able to be back on the field today. Yeah, I want to go into that um, a little bit. You know, uh, Rocky was talking about that, you know, they were talking about this, you know, it's kind of a, supposed to be like a low key kind of day, but now it was it was like more of a high tempo practice. What kind of differences do you see from this coaching staff compared to what you saw last year? Well, um, I think just the fact that um, there's everybody's um, new, you know what I mean? Everybody's new. We're new to the coaches. They're new to us. So we're all getting to, getting to know each other. Uh, we're all seeing how um, the intensity we're going to bring, um, how we are as um, either coaches or players. So we're all learning, and we're all just excited to be out there. You know, you can really feel the energy out there. Um, everybody wants to be out there. I'm talking about 
whenever you look to your right or left, it's a coach out there yelling with some type of excitement. You know, he's either yelling that somebody just made a play or he's yelling at somebody for making a mistake. One of the two, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, um, definitely the excitement, um, the new voices, the new faces, just, just all of that combined, you know, it's makes every day, like, kind of like, you don't really know what to expect, but you know, it's going to be um, exciting. Yeah. And uh, if I could follow up Michigan and Michigan state week two, um, geared right in that that's got to get you that's got to get you going oh yeah, once yeah. Folks, but week two um right off the bat right off yeah. the bat are but, you excited um, about that yeah definitely definitely um it that that's why you come here big games like that um it's not gonna get any bigger than that right out the season right out the gate um they're gonna come ready to play we're gonna come ready to play it's gonna be a good game you know so um we're definitely excited definitely excited all right Thanks, Antoine. Thanks, Ben. Thank you. Thanks, Casey. Next question is from Matt Wenzel with MLive. Hey, Antoine, I was wondering when um, you first kind of got the sense that the uh, season could be reinstated. Uh, what was your reaction um, to being officially reinstated and kind of conversations you have kind of leading up to that with teammates and, and coaches? Mm, well, it was kind of like – hard to I mean believe everything that was I mean everywhere you looked there was somebody you reporting that the Big Ten was going to play um so it was it was it was kind of hard to believe everything but me personally I wasn't believing anything until the Big Ten um officially released something because um I mean I mean prior to this prior to this we we saw people constantly saying meetings this or outcome is going to expect this or you know what I mean and um sometimes that wouldn't happen so it was so it was hard for um it was hard to believe pretty much anything that was coming out in the media so I just chose to uh believe what um with whatever the Big Ten was going to say um I just stayed ready we kept working out we kept running doing everything we were supposed to do so um I mean the whole key during this whole time was just Stay ready so you don't have to get ready when the time comes, you know. So that was just our whole thing. Next question is from Lindsay Huddleston. Hey, Antoine, good to see you again. Uh, I've been four for four with this question to the athletic director, the coach, and your quarterback, Rocky, a moment ago. What role does social justice play for you from a mental toughness standpoint with everything going on, being back in the play, the virus, but also the other issues you've been hearing about in both the NBA and the NFL. How does that impact you as a player? Definitely impacts me. You know what I mean? I'm um, I'm an African-American myself, you know, so um, when these issues started happening, it was important for, for me to educate my teammates or um, educate coaches, whoever was around me, just on what was going on, um, how we can make the world a better place, how we can impact our community. And um, I think we did a very good job with that. Coach Tuck had different faces in front of us. Um, we had meetings, just us players, how we could uh, do things and talk to each other. And, um, like, we had a great um, players meeting, I think it was three weeks ago, three, four weeks ago about everything. And it was amazing. Just um, we had people who, who wasn't really – who didn't really understand what was going on, speak up and speak where they were coming from. And um, we had other guys educating, guys who don't really speak, speaking. So it was good. It really brought out, um, it really brought out the best of the team. I think that made us um, grow closer as a, as a team. Great, great. Thank you for that. Thank you. Next question is from Stephen Brooks with 24-7 Sports. Hey, Antoine. Hope you're doing well, man. Um, I wanted to ask you about today's practice and just, uh, you know, what you, day one sort of uh, what you guys got accomplished, what you liked about it, and also just looking forward, um, just hearing from Rocky, obviously it's not going to be a traditional sort of camp and run up to a season. Um, how does that have to change things from your guys' perspective in terms of what you emphasize and, and how you guys sort of maximize all the time that you do get? Um, I think it's just important to um... – to just keep working, you know what I mean, um, and just being flexible. Um, I mean, everything has been changing daily. Um, we're finding out new stuff daily. So, I mean, at this point, it's just good to have some type of stability, like 
you know, we're playing this game. We're going to play this day. Uh, this is what we're shooting for. This is what we're going to do. So, um, I mean, it's good for that. But um, can you can you ask that again? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, but I wanted to ask about today, you know, what you liked about just day one. And also oh, the, just the, the sort of the difference of, of not having a traditional camp and fitting in as many practices as you can, when you can, and just uh, the differences of this year's sort of preseason as opposed to a normal one. I think the, the big thing is definitely going to be um, the effort part, just um, getting in um, getting in tip-top shape. Like I'm talking about like tip-top shape to a point where like you should be able to go all 60 minutes um, and be good. You know, every play you should be able to line up and go, go, go 100, 110, and and um, give it your all. Um, that's that's the goal. You know, what I mean, that's what we're shooting for. Um, of course, it's hard right now. We're wearing splatter shields, the visors, so uh, I mean, it's hard to breathe. But I mean, I personally think that's helping us, to be honest, because um, if it comes a day where our um, either um, athletic director or president says we can remove those visors. I believe we're going to be in. We're going to be in, in great shape because um, we because those things were they're they're hard getting used to, but um, they're they're growing on us though. So um, it's definitely fun being out there, but the effort, the um, excitement, everybody is excited. You know, um, today's practice, of course, isn't going to be perfect. The first um, first practice being back, not our first official practice, but of course, it's not going to be perfect. Got a few things to fix, but the effort, the excitement, talent, everything else is there. You know what I mean? We just got to keep working hard and um, showing up with a with a work mindset every day. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. This question is from Matt Charbonneau, the Detroit News. Hey, Antoine, I, I'm going to ask you about more about a, your leadership role, and, and especially this year with everything being so different, with, with so much time off in the spring and everything you guys have gone through, how much – has that been an emphasis for you um, to kind of live up to that role as a leader to keep everybody together? And, and secondly to that, I wanted to see what your perspective was on Rocky Lombardi. You know, you guys came in at the same time, and now he's he's really kind of starting, it looks like, to emerge as one of those guys that's being a leader as well, too. What have you seen from him in that aspect, and I guess how important has it been for you over these last few months? Um, well, for Rocky, I've always been a Rocky Lombardi fan since we stepped foot on campus. You know what I mean? I've always rooted for Rocky. He's always been a guy that um, that people listen to when he spoke. You know, he's always been uh, um, a guy that's done everything right. You know what I mean? Showed up to lifts on time. He worked his butt off. Um, it's just the fact that he's playing behind, playing behind Brian. Brian was um, – he was a good quarterback for us. He was lights out. And, um, and so, I mean – um, I don't I don't know if there's too much uh, Rocky could do in that situation, especially with um, Brian being a starter before and coming back. It would have been hard for Rocky to, to work his way into that role. But I think Rocky showed um, leader great leadership qualities being that backup, you know, holding Brian accountable, um, holding his um, his receivers, the other receivers, holding everybody accountable. And um, and then um, for myself. Um, I mean, I just love talking to everybody. Um, I'm just one of those guys. If, if I walk past you in a building, I'm going to say what's up to you, or I'm going to say, like, what's crack a lack and I'm going to mess with you, something. It doesn't matter who you are, coach, um, player, anybody. If I see you, I'm, I'm going to say something to you. So um, it's just important to me just having that um, relationship with everybody. Um, and, I mean, you never know what somebody's going through. Sometimes just saying a hi, seeing how they're acting, how their day is going might be the best part of their day, you know what I mean? So just little things like that just um, just keep me going. I, I like to think about little stuff like that. Thanks, man. Thank you. Next question is from Audrey Dahlgren of WLNS. Hi, Antoine. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to ask, or maybe you could give us a little inside look at practice in a sense, because Lombardi was saying that, you know, Coach Tuck's ready to go. And you said mention the intensity aspect of it. If you could rate maybe Coach Tucker on a scale of one to ten when it comes to intensity, what would it be, and how infectious has that been during this time frame? He's a ten, and probably plus some. Uh, he he came out with his whistle wet, and he was ready to go. Uh, he was blowing that whistle every chance he got today. 
Um, so he was ready. It wasn't no if, ands, or buts about it. When he hit the when he hit the sidelines, it was have your shirts tucked in, um, no no razzle dazzle, none of that extra stuff, um, and be ready to go. Um, let's bring excitement, run to the ball, and he's holding everybody accountable, like every single person. Coaches have to have to run to the ball just like players do. It's insane, but it's practice is fast. Like it's really fast. You know what I mean? The tempo, like, I don't know if it's a point where like we're not running. You know what I mean? If we're not running, we're standing there in between plays or in between a period because we don't have to go nowhere. And that's like a like a blessing. You know what I mean? We're always running somewhere on the jog and he's on top of us too. He makes us go back if guys aren't running to the next spot. So practice is fast. It, the intensity is through the roof. Um, you definitely have to come ready to go with the right mindset or um, you'll quickly fall off the train. Thank you. Thank you. Looks like we have time for one more from uh, Jason Lewis. Hey, Antoine. Obviously, having a new first-year head coach, not having spring ball and all that kind of stuff, I'm sure you would have wanted football season to start on time, but with this extra few weeks and now a few more weeks to prepare, what benefits has it been with that new coaching staff, whether it's learning and whatnot, that you could take advantage of this time building up for the start of the season? Um, I'm just learning, to be honest, just getting more comfortable with one another, um, getting, more, getting more comfortable with each other, um, and really, um, really emphasizing the um, little things. You know what I mean? Finishing through the line, um, if you're out there really going, not being um, half speed or none of that, um, pulling your gun when you get the opportunity, um, and just just being a football player, you know what I'm saying? Um, just stuff like that. But um, I'm sorry. What was your question? I'm sorry. It's just been a long day. I apologize. No, it's all good. Just more about just the benefit of this extra time that you have to prepare with that new coaching staff and having to learn a new defense and everything. Yeah, it's other than getting to know each other and emphasizing the little things, I say just continuing to um, to learn the system. You know what I mean? Um, it definitely has its wrinkles and its um, and its different things to it and stuff, but um, it's definitely fun. Um, it's going to be fun to play in. Um, and all the guys are excited about it. So, so um, we all just can't wait to play um, and, and continuing to, to learn and, um, and getting to know the process. <laughs> so, yeah. And thank you so much. Thank you. Sounds great. And it looks like all the time we have uh, for questions tonight. Antoine, thank you so much for joining us on short notice. Really appreciate it. And thanks, everybody, for joining us on short notice. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having thank me. Thank you, guys. Thanks, thank you, Ben. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Ben. Thanks, Ben.